Good afternoon, everyone. I am here with today's um, Bible reading. Just trying to see what time it was to see if it was afternoon or actually evening already. But, um, I don't know. Looks like it might be about 4.30. Let's get to the page here. We are going to begin today where we left off yesterday with Acts 13, 16 through 41. So Paul stood up, gestured with his hand, and said, Men of Israel, and you Gentiles who fear God, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and made the people great during their stay as foreigners in the country of Egypt. And with uplifted arm he led them out of it. In a period of about forty years he put up with them in the wilderness. After he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave his people their land as an inheritance. All this took about 450 years. After this, he gave them judges until the time of Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin who ruled 40 years. After removing him, God raised up David their king. He testified about him. I have found David, the son of Jesse, to be a man after my heart, who will accomplish everything I want him to do. From the descendants of this man, God brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus, just as he promised. Before Jesus arrived, John had proclaimed a baptism for repentance to all the people of Israel. But while John was completing his mission, he said repeatedly, what do you think I am? I am not he. But look, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the sandals on his feet. Brothers, descendants of Abraham's family, and those Gentiles among you who fear God, the message of this salvation has been sent to us. For the people who live in Jerusalem and their rulers did not recognize him, and they fulfilled the sayings of the prophets that are read every Sabbath by condemning him. Though they found no basis for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him executed. When they had accomplished everything that was written about him, they took him down from the cross and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had accompanied him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses to the people. And we proclaim to you the good news about the promise to our ancestors, that this promise God has fulfilled to us, their children, by raising Jesus, as also it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, today I have fathered you. But regarding the fact that he has raised Jesus from the dead, never again to be in the state of decay, God has spoken in this way, I will give you the holy and trustworthy promises made to David. Therefore, he also says in another psalm, You will not permit your holy one to experience decay. For David, after he had served God's purpose in his own generation, died, was buried with his ancestors, and experienced decay. But the one whom God raised up did not experience decay. Therefore, let it be known to you, brothers, that through this one forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you, and by this one everyone who believes is justified from everything from which the law of Moses could not justify you. Watch out, then, that what is spoken about the prophets does not happen to you. Look, you scoffers, be amazed and perish, for I am doing a work in your days, a work you would never believe, 
even if someone tells you. And that was Acts 13, 16 through 41. Now we're going to go to Psalm 138 by David. I will give you thanks with all my heart. Before the heavenly assembly I will sing praises to you. I will bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name because of your loyal love and faithfulness. For you have exalted your promise above the entire sky. When I cried out for help, you answered me. You made me bold and energized me. Let all the kings of the earth give thanks to you, O Lord. When they hear the words you speak, let them sing about the Lord's deeds. For the Lord's splendor is magnificent. Though the Lord is exalted, he takes note of the lowly and recognizes the proud from far away. Even when I must walk in the midst of danger, you revive me. You oppose my angry enemies, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord avenges me. O oh Lord, your loyal love endures. Do not abandon those whom you have made. And that was Psalm 138 by David. And lastly for today, we're going to read Proverbs 17, 17, and 18. A friend loves at all times, and a relative is born to help in adversity. The one who lacks wisdom strikes hands in pledge and puts up financial security for his neighbor. And that was Proverbs 17, 17, and 18. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a good start to your weekend. Looks like it's going to rain here any minute. It's really, really dark. <clears throat> I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I will see you again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys.